Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to uh, the full stack certification, skill certification from Hacker Rank. And I'm just playing with these certifications so that uh, you can get familiar with these, uh, how to approach the problem. So because when you go for the full stack interviews, they always prefer giving some assignments. Then there is a coding round, small coding round, then some assessment questions. That depends on the companies, but most of the product companies will give you these kind of assignments which you can do offline. That's a timely fix. So let's try to do this. This is something about the REST API. So let's see what is inside this. We are just starting the test and see it has two questions, 90 minutes and then uh, you'll start with this. Agree and start. Number of drawn matches and football competition winner goals. Okay, uh, number of drawn matches if I try to solve this what does it contain okay it gives me so there are different options you can just choose okay i want to do it in the node.js okay and this is simple function i need to write so let's take a pause and try to read the question first and try to understand it okay so first let's read the question what it talks about uh rest api number of drawn matches is so what i thought like they have given us some mock api which we need to hit and we need to get the total number of matches by team A and B and then we need to calculate the total number of drawn matches. Let's read it. The REST API contains information about the football matches. The provide APIs allow squaring the matches by team and year. Okay, so get number of draws year. This is what we need to write in a particular year. Uh, how many draw matches that particular team has, uh, has played, right? So, okay. What we need to do is to access the collection of matches in a given year, perform the query. Okay, here is this page and this is the year. So first of all, we need to get the, the number of uh, matches, drawn matches played in that particular year. And the year which is the combination and page is the, okay. So it's like a page generated request, right? Year is going to be the same and page will keep increasing. And, uh, ta -ta, okay. The response of such request in JSON has the following field, page per page, total and total pages uh, with results, data, okay. So there is one thing is clear is, I need to make a call in a loop till the total pages and I need to get all the, the responses and here it contains the, both the responses, right? Team 1 goals and team 2 goals. So what I need to do is, in the records I need to check team 1 goals should be equal equal to the uh, team 2 goals if both are same in that case uh, i will just increase the counter so if you see this response should be there simple okay response is not there it's just like a simple json object it's going to return something like this okay if you want to play with this api mock api you can just do this and try to understand the api response can i copy this thing i mean it would be helpful if i can copy this and try to paste it here no it's not possible right so uh, it is saying that inside the data it is going to have all these properties so let's say we consider that these are the properties we are getting so what i need to know i need to know first okay how many uh how many pages we have then i can just run a loop and i need to run a loop till we get all the pages right and then uh, hit a api call because this is the api I can't even copy this strange okay const API URL so this is our API URL at least this would give the this here so here it is HTTPS JSON mock dot hacker rank rank.com okay this is api api football and this is matches and this is year so this is actually the url right then you will try to just pass the parameters so what i'm going to do here is first i will try to uh, require exios and I do that okay like I, I want to do simply is const exios equal to 
require axios because I need to make an HTTP call. You can also use HTTP library, but axios is better than that. So const response and here I can say await and this can be this is already a sync function, so that's a good thing. Axios dot get and here we need to pass this whole URL and we need to pass the the year as a dynamic params, right? So ta -ta -ta. here I need to pass the year also football matches in a given year football matches and I can just pass here something like this simple so this is the first API call which I'm trying to do to get the total number of uh, pages so const result equal to response dot data this is how you can get the data from the axios and instead of even this we can just calculate directly the total pages so i'm talking about this thing total pages we will get from response.data and here now because the, the logic is quite simple we just need to make an api call be, uh, based on total number of pages i will keep passing the total number of pages uh, here we are passing year i just need to pass the pages also so i will just run a loop that's maybe one of the option so here what we will do is const count because this total pages is the number so how can we run a loop i'm just trying to run a four of loop or you can just also run a i4 i equal to zero i is less than total number of pages i plus plus right i want to do it async so const I can just simply count of I can convert that into an empty array array dot from and what is the length of an array okay here I can just pass the length length of the array is total pages and so this is how I used to do for of loop const count of array dot from this will give me the index okay, and here I can just simply say is there is a callback I mean it accepts a map function also i plus one this is the map function this is how the random values will be generated from this so if you try to print the count what is the value of the count count is is automatically generated so array dot from this is the length and how we are generating so if you try to do console log it will just generate uh, these numbers from count uh, from one to till the length of this total pages so what we are doing is const count of array dot from this is my length of total pages and this is a map function if you can see array dot from the first argument is iterable and another is a map function now i got the count so what i can do is i will just use the same axios call we'll keep getting the data so const response equal to this and here i need to pass another parameter is equal to count okay so another argument i'm passing and here i will just do the same thing uh, result equal to response dot data and once i got the result i will just uh, run a loop onto this because it's going to be an array const item of result dot data result dot data response dot data okay I need to see what the response of this API JSON mock. So here I will just say is two thousand one. JSON mock hacker rank API football. football matches 
okay so if you see this response what it contains it contains the object object contains the data which contains an array so let's see if it is having some data Where can I get the data? 2022. So here 2011. Let's try this. 2011. Okay. If I try to see the, the response, how it looks like. In the data, we are getting this object, right? So we got there is result dot data, response dot data. Inside that we are going to access the data. That's why I'm uh, doing this data again result dot data in the for of loop and here we will keep our one counter let's say let counter equal to zero uh, there is a typo here okay so we got this data and what we will do is if because we are accessing item item dot team one goal so there is a team one goals if that is equal equal to the item dot team two goals if uh, this is true we will just increase the counter plus plus right okay this is a for loop we will get all the values and we will just return the counter simple i mean there should be a better way of doing it i'm just making one unnecessary call to get the total number of pages and then running a loop till the total number of pages consumed so i will try to run the code and see if it works so data i will just check the variable names and all everything looks fine response.data item result.data no response okay i'm returning this what this function is expecting get number of draws i should be returning the value which i'm already doing let's see uh, okay this is the starting get number of years so i'm past the year i'll just try to print some values so that that will tell me okay things are good total number of pages and here result response dot data and then result dot data item of t1 goal okay let's run the code again so it's taking some time no response on std out okay i didn't get it uh, it is getting timed out i will just run the test cases and see if it works but for for me okay some tests are passing that means we are on the the safe mode i mean we are on the safe side otherwise okay rest all limit exceeded so that's not my problem your output is zero zero that is just like okay there is no records but here time limit is getting exceeded so that's not my problem i know that that happens because we are making exios calls and they are getting timed out but this is a simple solution which we are doing first getting the total number of pages once we have this we are just passing the year and the count in the next uh, calls to get the the data items and just comparing the team one goals with the team two goals if both are same that means that is a draw i will just submit it it's a hacker rank problem not my problem okay let's see the second one football competition winners goal in this challenge rest api contains information about football competitions and matches to access the competition performs the get request so there is a competition and year we need to pass so we are passing the competition name and year so response will be returned something like this you lose the example of suggestion object name year winner is this Next to access the collection of matches played by the given team in a given competition and year, perform this request. Paginated, your competition is the same of your competition. Okay, it's all lengthy. Okay, I will try to read it again. For example, this return data associated to the match, this 
in the year where team won is the home team and was Barcelona on the second page of the result. Similarly, get request page one, team one and team two. Okay. Written data associated with the matches of UAE competition league in the year where team two was a visiting team was Barcelona on the other. The response to such requests will be this. Okay, each match record has several fields, but in the task we are following four relevant team one goal, team two goals. I think I got it. So we need to make a two HTTP calls here. Uh, because uh, like let's say Indian cricket team, we need to get the 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 winner matches where Indian team is the hosting or Indian team is visiting the other country. So there are like two different API calls we need to perform to get and winner means uh, we lose this an object. Okay, I will try to make this API call football competitions. I think this was also football competitions. This was football matches, so there is another API call. Football competitions. Let's read this, what it is saying. Page 1 per page 10, total pages 1, data, okay. So data is name, okay, league, country, and uh, what is this? Uh, name, league, country, winner is this. Winner is Manchester City. Okay, let's try to do this. So we have to make these two API calls. One is a visitor team, one is the hosting team. And this is the competition and year competition so name is the name of competition year is the year competition for example uh, this is the English Premier League return data associated to English Premier League of 2014 the response of such request is JSON object that contains these things winner and runner-up next to access the collection of matches placed by the given team in a given competition and year uh, played by the given team in a given competition and year team one page one team two page two here the competition is the the name of competition okay team is the name of the team and the page is the okay man this is uh confusing so i will try to sort this out and uh, let me read it and then i will let's take a pose and try to understand this whole example okay so i understood a bit uh, so let's do this so what we are doing is we need to make a first api call so i will use some bits of code from here and there i can copy it something from here right so i can reuse some of the code here we need to make an api call football competitions so this is the api call we need to make football competition and year and the name okay this is the year and we need to pass also the another argument is the name and the name is this is the name of the competition so this should give me the data okay football response dot data i will just remove this thing for now Okay, so here response.data, which is saying that it will be returning only a single item with five following fields, something like this. Okay, five following fields, single object, so we can get the winner team. Okay, so now I think this is sorted response.data, zero and response.data. Okay, this is your result, and from this result, zero result.data0 winner team so that we will get from result of 0 dot winner right as string denoting the team who wants the competition and here uh, winners teams goals okay this is the winner we got and now we need to make two API calls 
where team one is the winner team and team two is the winner team we can have this counter so result dot data this will give us this object inside this data of zero dot winner inside this uh, result of zero dot winner will give us winner team now i need to make these two api calls the So what we need to do is we need to now make the two API calls where this is the winner team and in second is this winner team these two API calls I'm talking about competition and this is these are numbered from 0 to 1 okay above URLs are different team 1 is that team 2 is that okay so const API call this is our first api call so here the api call is team one is this winner team and const api call to and here the team two is is the winner team now what we need to do we need to make the api calls so i will just save it run the code and try to copy the code from the first one i can submit this and then i will come back i will modify this i just want to copy this stuff because this is the same code we need to use auto problem statement 2 and i don't like this whole approach but for now we'll just apply this so here what we are doing is i will call api call 1 we'll get the total number of pages and here what we need to do is uh, we need to collect uh, so this is the first api call and i will be just adding the count So this is api call api call one and then similarly i will be doing the same for the second i will just remove this counter for now so i will just call it as a response one response one dot data this is response two response two dot data total pages and here response again is a, uh, this is a different scope so we can redeclare this response that is fine and here what we need to do now what, what kind of counter we need so i will just have a let counter equal to zero and let's see what we are calculating here returns the data associated with the match one the response of such object is total pages and data each method records uh, team 1, team 2, team 1, goals, team 2, goals. String com the function returns an integer total number of goals scored by in all the matches in a given competition by a team who won the competition. So this was the winner team. Okay, again the same thing. Okay, we are just calculating the goals by a winner team, right? So according to me, this item team one goals is is string denoting the number of goals scored by the team one because here so without thinking much i will do something like this so what i will do is counter equal to here we are considering this as the api call one where we are considering this is the team one right so team one goals i will try to count counter equal to counter plus team one goals okay so i will get the the value here this is the for loop I'll just remove this braces and then the same counter i will just increase it as a team two goals right counter equal to counter plus team two goals because now 
the same winner team is acting as a team 2 in the API call 2. This is API call 2, this is API call 1, this is a team 2. So we need to collect all the team 2 goals because this was the winner team. And I'm returning the counter. Let's see if we have written things properly. This is the closing of this. This is the closing of this one. Let's try to run the code. Compilation error. I was expecting something. Counter has already been declared. Counter, counter. Let's remove this. Run the code again. Total pages. Okay. Total pages in the global scope has already been declared as uh, page 1. Let's create alias for this. And here alias page 2. Page 2. And this alias is page 1. Page 1 and page 2. Okay, this is page 1. Run it again. Exios is not defined. Again, the same problem. So I will just do const exios equal to require exios. What else? Let's run the code again. Winner object uh, cannot read property of undefined winner. That's problem. Here, what it was saying, it was saying winner only. If I try to console it, result zero console.log result am i using the api properly football competitions api football competitions competitions name equal to the name i mean i can just pass it like this name equal to competition and this is here I think that should not be the problem, but I will just do it in the same way. Run the code, try to see what is we are what we are getting in the result. So okay. It is giving me data dot winner result data zero. This is the result object. And then result dot data zero, okay. Result dot data zero. That's that will fix it. Sorry for that. So inside result we have a data as an array, then winner. Your output is zero. Expected is 28. So that means we are not passing, right? So here is the counter. Response one. Dot data total pages as page one. I'm running till that and then API call one and passing the count. Count is started with uh, one response dot data result dot data and here team one goals here the confusion is do i need to check who is the winner team because i'm expecting that that is the only winner team or because it should not be zero let's see console dot log what are we getting as a page one so I got the, the fix, uh, I was uh, on to something else. So actually I was using this API URL uh, wrong. These both the URLs are totally different. So this is the first mistake. These are the football matches and this is the football competition. So this copy paste creates a problem for me. <laughs> okay, rest all is good. Here you just need to convert it into a number because we are, it's a coming as a string from the API. I mean, they, they, they can give a better description of this. This really, this description doesn't uh, make much sense. I mean, you need to read it many times to understand the whole picture. So here, first we are getting the winner team. And then we are passing that winner team in this API and in this API. Because uh, that winner team can be a hosting and can be a visiting team. And for both, we need to get the paginated response. And we need to collect the total number of goals. Item dot total, total team one goals when you are uh, visiting and when you are hosting the matches then there is a team two goals and the same paginated calls we are doing doing a simple loop and getting the counter so i will just run this code i will make uh, this code available also so you can read it there are some debug console 
I can also run all the tests and then I will submit this. So this is very basic simple example once you read it. You just only need to understand the problem statement clearly from this uh, description which is not written clearly. Here you need to write this API URL manually and see okay what is the JSON object looks like. These are the things which really takes time. Otherwise these are very basic and simple examples. Okay, that's all about the REST API skill certification. I will submit it and I will get it. Nothing much. Thank you.